Dart strings are immutable. If you read the string API docs, you might notice that none of the methods on string actually change the original string. They return entirely new strings. This includes string concatenation. When you combine two strings, a third string is created. This usually doesn't matter, but it can get expensive if you're concatenating a lot of strings over and over. Imagine you have a function that builds a log message. Using the plus sign operator for concatenation creates a new string each time it's called. You can end up with a lot of temporary objects and memory that you don't need. A memory efficient way of getting around this is by using a string buffer. String buffer lets you build a string step by step without creating a new string object every time. It's like a mutable workspace for your string, which only becomes a finalized immutable string when you call to string. First, construct your string buffer. Then, use the write method to add to the string buffer. Alternatively, you can use write line, which adds the string along with new line characters. When you're done building the string, call to string, which produces the final immutable string. Only a single string object was ever created in memory, which means more memory efficient code and better performance. Remember, streamlined string concatenation with the plus sign operator is usually fine when used sparsely. But when you're doing a lot of string concatenations, you should consider using a string buffer. For more info on string buffer and other Dart techniques, head to dart.dev.